Hey guys, Cam here from PhoneDog.com and a couple of days ago we unboxed the Apple Watch Sport. And although I ordered them both at the same time, it took a few more days for the stainless model to arrive. Now that it's here, I've decided to unbox that too, but to add a little bit more value to the video, I've decided to compare the unboxing experience of this to the Watch Sport. Right from the outset, the Sport and stainless models are different. While the Sport comes in a long rectangular box, the stainless steel watch comes in a much squarer package. Under the lid is the plastic square box with rounded corners. Underneath that is the booklet containing paperwork, which in this case is a quick start guide. Inside the box you'll find the power adapter sat right in the center, surrounded by the magnetic charging disc and its extra long cable. And here's where you notice the first subtle difference. Unlike the all-plastic magnetic charging disc from the Apple Watch Sport, the stainless model's charging disc has a brushed metal covering with incredibly shiny edges. And if you look closely, you'll also notice that it's thinner than the plastic one. It's a small touch of added luxury and premium design. This same flair and quality is shown inside the plastic box too. When we open it up, the box itself is lined with a soft textured material. Both the lid and the base are coated in it, as is the rounded insert used to hold the watch strap shape. There's also a precise groove in the lid and base to ensure the watch stays in position during transit. This is a far cry from the simple plastic tray used to hold the cheaper Apple Watch Sport. And once we've removed the plastic insert, peeled off the film and taken a quick look around, we can power up the Apple Watch and pair it the same way we paired the Sport model. Like all Apple Watches, it has the same internal components, controls, user interface and display. It's when you look at materials that you notice the real differences. On the back we have the heart rate monitor built into a ceramic disc, which itself is encased in a lump of custom stainless steel. A really shiny metal which is matched by the fixing points and the clasp on the classic black leather strap. The Sport model is different in that it is a duller anodized aluminum finish. Its display is covered in Ion X glass rather than the more expensive sapphire crystal used in the steel one, and the heart rate sensor is built into a composite disc. All these differences in material make the Sport model lighter and slightly less durable. I noticed fine scratches in my sport watch on the display after just one day. And for those who want to use the stainless model for both exercise tracking and formal occasions, you can easily fit the sport band to the steel case. It fits nicely and ensures you don't ruin your soft natural leather strap when you're getting your sweat on. The shiny stainless steel looks just as suited to the sporty strap as it does to the leather. So overall then, there's just that little bit more class, premium, luxury, whatever you want to call it, flair maybe, to the unboxing experience of the steel version. And you can understand this. They want to make you feel like what you've bought is worth some money. Because after all, it does cost significantly more than the sport model. In daily use, are you going to notice the difference? Who knows? We'll give it a full review and get back to you on that one. But so far, I am loving my steel version. And the sport one is getting sent back. I've been Cam, I'm at phone dog underscore Cam on Twitter, you can tweet me on there or use the comment section down below. And if you want to catch the original unboxing and Marco software overview of the Apple Watch, I'll leave a link to those in the description box and you can check those out as well. I'll see you again soon.